Don't worry, honey. I'm right as rain. The operation was totally painless. Good. You need to leave right now. There's a man coming for you. He's armed and wearing an experimental polymer glove. Must be Sechenov's guy. Larissa, did you talk to him? He was attacked by a burrap. We took him to the infirmary and then... Uh, I didn't know. I took him to get him bleed out. Well, you should have. It would have saved us a whole lot of trouble. It scares me when you talk like that. I'll meet you at the exit. I'm right behind you, honey. I just hope we're not too late. Hope can be dangerous. Hands up! Victor? What's going on? You deaf? Hands behind your head. Victor! The hell Victor. are you? Major Nachaya Special Operations. And that's the last question you get. You're going to Chelemy. Victor, save yourself! Chelemy. Of course, Comrade Major. Intrusion. Huh? Intrusion! Warning. Hey, freeze! Warning. Right alert. Lockdown in progress. Okay, maybe I do want the spin. robots around it's almost like there is property and he locked the goddamn door the trough ran off with a mobile power source called the candle it powers the emergency lockdown system this door cannot be opened without a candle i'll find another one there's got to be more than one candle in this complex right we need to hurry otherwise Petrov will escape the sector and we'll have to track him down again yeah but can be no can it carry it like this the candle is a complex unstable piece of equipment it cannot be stowed in your backpack along with your other items there is a high probability of mutual destructuralization like an explosion not necessarily but the candle would be disabled so I'll have to carry it like this got it the candle is quite durable you can drop it or even throw it intentionally nothing will happen to it mm-hmm Those loaders are going nuts. Is this Petrov's doing? Be careful. Loaders are extremely durable. You won't be able to damage them with a simple axe. Shock therapy usually works pretty well on nut cases, metallic or otherwise. I need some multiple shots just to break one.
That doesn't Good sound good. That sounds like Petrov's voice. I hope that asshole's brains didn't get splattered all over the floor. We need Petrov alive. Hurry, Major. What the fuck does it look like I'm doing? Ah, it's locked. It looks like there was a containment breach in the algae workshop, and experimental materials leaked out. That's actually good for us. Oh. have canisters of lunar soil in them. Wigheads sure love your fancy locks, don't you? Guess I'll go find some canisters. Oder ist du schockt? Ich glaube, ich bin schockt. Shit lady robot perv again. I'll go around her. Not so fast, comrade major. I understand that interactions with this model may be unpleasant for you, but it would be prudent to see if she has anything. There you are, sugar. Oh, I missed you so much. Have you dumped that stupid glove yet? Uh, don't <laughs> count on it. I love it when you get angry. Yes, yes, scold me, punish me. What? You killed someone again? You monster. But you haven't entered me for so long, big guy. Do you like it? Is that a bullet's energy weapon? Give him your gloves energy for a cable. I did my best. Ah. This is cool. For real. Now, could you please not kill anyone else? <laughs> I just can't help myself. Hot stuff. Well, just do your best, okay? Oh, this is fucking crazy. Petrov need with the repair vendor? Why would the sicko try to take control of Nora? Why would he even need weapons? He's got robots fighting for him. The traitor realized that employees confronted with hostile robots will defend themselves. And the soldiers defending the facility will attempt to get more powerful weapons. He must have been scared someone would bump into him by accident and shoot him like the traitorous piece of dog shit he is. That very well may be. Regardless, Petrov was unable to get his hands on a repair vendor. However, Nora's algorithms were still corrupted in a most hideous manner. That dirty son of a whore. 
The repair vendor is completely insane. He's got her saying all kinds of creepy sex shit and making goofy junk instead of decent weapons. And she kills people. Does that mean we'll have to go unarmed? Uh, anything's better than nothing, right? I'd rather take on a robot with a metal toilet brush than my bare hands. I stopped by the archive yesterday and everything... Where the hell is it? ...there is so automated. We won't have to work at all pretty soon. We'll just sit there listening to music. Here's a peek. Robots can't appreciate it the way we do. I have to wait for it to end. Oh, there we go. It's because we were stuck in animation. No, I've got one. I've got another one. Uh, done. I think it worked. Whew, this place is huge. Hit the visit the no repair vendor often. And don't forget to learn active skills and upgrade your weapon to complete missions as efficiently as possible. Got Sechenov's name written all over it. So, where are we? This is the seed bank. The heart of the Vavilov complex. Samples of seeds from all manner of plants are stored here so they can be cultivated to grow on the moon and Mars. These stunning and unique experiments are in danger of being lost forever. Will it be major? Project. Okay. Over here we can go uh, upgrade to its effective range, does more damage for Shami's back. Let's pick up Frostbite. Frostbite. Freeze your enemies to slow them down for a while. Remember, a frozen enemy only takes a portion of the damage from your attacks and falls out more quickly with each hit it takes. Ah, this is more of a um but you can do all the things. Crispy critters! They're most certainly crispy, Major. Shut up, Charles. No time for this. in the camera. Broke that one. Thank <laughs> you. 
attention. Yeah, I guess we can't go that way. Oh, it's gonna go up and over. That's basically just a small and one hand version that we have. Weapon ergonomics. Use anti weapons, guns, and melee weapons wisely in order to allocate your resources efficiently. Critical security system failure. All personnel evacuate the seat back immediately. <laughs> no! Right, okay, we can't die. I actually jumped too far. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, so I really, really do need to be exploring a bit more.
object that has a side homing to it. I even can't lock the door. <laughs> If we could that go down there, we could unlock this. God, I hate this lock. But I can't see the dot going around. I go down pretty quickly. Overcoming obstacles. Objects that can be grabbed onto offer and highlight in yellow. Back up to where we were. I think Moses is just going back to where we were. Alright. One 
Watch we go. Puzzle. I know you're here, Petrov. You've got nowhere to run. I'll give you ten seconds to surrender. According to biometric readings, this is Petrov. It is? Crispy critters. And what's his head? Shit. It really is Petrov. Uh, I had a feeling it'd end this way. Wizard, this is P3. Come in. Wizard here. Have you found Petrov, my boy? I found his body. He's been decapitated. A loader turned his skull into blood pudding. Damn. His head contained codes I would have used to end this nightmare quickly. I'm sorry, Dr. Sechenov. I was too late. <sighs> then we'll have to solve the problem another way. Did he have any rings on him? Two gold rings? Uh, no rings, sir. Just a candle. Understood. I need you to report to the VDNH at once, B3. We've got bigger problems than Petrov to deal with. What could be worse than Petrov? Stockhausen will debrief you at the VDNH. Hurry. Time is of the essence. Do I make myself clear, my boy? 10-4, wizard. Moving out. Yeah, I don't believe he's dead. The fact his head was cut off and we don't even get to see it. And the fact he now brought up the fact about rings. I feel like he's probably not dead. from the candles isn't sufficient to power the main gate but installing them activated a system that provides special polymers to the birch tree life support system holy shit where did all these monsters come from a mere hypothesis but oh wow I suspect they're the bodies of dead soldiers I'm that gonna rip your heart out sprouts. a fucking hypothesis are you shitting me it's merely my own determination this has never happened fuck me so how did it happen? I guess that something went wrong with the sprouts after Petrov caused the malfunction. Charles, I'm in the hot shop. Am I gonna turn into a crispy critter if I stay in here too long? No. The laboratory tables in the hot workshop or thermarium require high temperatures. But the temperature within the shop itself is quite comfortable. Freaking critters. This place just keeps getting more and more fucked up. Ow. Jeez. How many of you are there? Too many. Too many. Tell me. And I'll pop back. Charles, I'm in the hot shop. Am I gonna turn into a crispy critter if I stay in here too long? No, the laboratory so, tables in the hot workshop or thermarium require change? high temperatures. The one in the but the temperature within thing? the shop itself is it? quite She's comfortable. She's holding out for a hero, just like I do. Waiting for someone to save her from the biting cold. Oh, that's it. Enough. One deranged tin can is plenty for me. I knew you.
you would stay loyal to me, handsome? Take off the glove, and we'll be together forever. Don't hold your breath. So, why is this birch tree so important? It's not important at all, Stutt. You'll have to warm her up, but you can ignore her. She's a dumb tree. Nothing like me. Crispy critters. At least the tree doesn't talk. You would be lonely without me, sugar. Would I really? Yeah, that looks like you're gonna have in some stuff. Oh well. stuff before. It's cryogenic, right? Indeed it is. That is a Fahrenheit, a candle filled with cryopolymer. It's designed to reduce temperatures and equalize pressure in high temperature furnaces. I'll try getting them into the boilers. How do I get into the pipe? the opening. Ugh. What do I do now? Lug this shit to the boiler myself? Yep. It worked. Two more left. Gee, are you sure? Like how that puzzle is done with my camera. It's a good thing Walks the pipes open in the next room and not over by the birch tree. I've seen talk, but yeah, I can't really move the camera away from part of the pipe. annoying.
we just why can we just foam at them? Oh, I know she's going to play too tough. That's great. Who the hell came up with all this shit? I'm sick to death of shoving balls into tubes. We're doing this so we can. Charles, leave. who's singing? Never heard him before. I have no idea. This is a broadcast from the Academy of Consequences Radio of the Future. Can you see anything? The future is vast. Comrade Major? Yes? Got something constructive to say? Have I done something to offend you? Why are you taking your frustration out on me? <sighs> Sorry. It's not your fault. I'm just mad at myself. Why? You didn't kill Petrov. He was killed by his own weapon. A hostile robot. That doesn't matter. I was supposed to take him alive, and I failed. And that's not all. Sechenov saved my life. He's like a father to me. As far as I can remember, anyway, I let him down. How much of your life do you remember, Comrade Major? Uh, two years, maybe a little more. I can't remember much from before I got hurt, but as I said, he's like a father to me. If there's anything I'm sure about, it's that. Fair enough. But it's illogical to be. What's the hot workshop used for? Heat-resistant polymers are made here. But most of the research is dedicated to the cultivation of heat-resistant flora. Nice. The polymers here are enriched with essential oils from Cacticae cereris, a cactus. The polymers make it possible to cultivate groups of plants that are adapted to high temperatures. Do they want to make the desert greener or something? Something like that. They plan to terraform Mars. The canisters fill automatically once the temperature is normalized. 